Hey, can you guys see me? Like, I'm, I'm trying really hard, but I just got like DC'd. Oh. Hi. Oh, finally. Okay, I'm um, just give me like a couple of minutes. I want to go tell Josh that I'm online. See my hands and stuff. This is weird. I have my, my laptop right here and I'm looking at myself and I'm actually looking at myself lagging. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just like spin something so that you guys know that it's actually moving. There we go. Okay, that sucked. Let's try that again. Hi Tyler, hi Faith, hi Sibby. Um, sorry if I'm not saying hi to everyone else. I just needed to let Joshua know. Let me just give him the link. I know I'm quiet. Okay, there we go. I think that should be enough. I kind of want to put the link in spin space, but never mind. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to scroll up so I can read the rest of your comments as well. What's up Max Hardy? I know you were here right from the start. So Max Hardy, what's up? Victor, hey, Tony T, uh, Hong Fu, oh my god, Hong Fu, uh, <laughs> thanks for joining, Dino Craft, Aiden, Pino, Faith, who else is there, Malia, Kieran, Greg, Dean, Randy, Tsukasaru, Caesar, Hey, logical. What's up? Hey, what's up, everyone? Wow. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is plug my phone in so that my battery will always last. Okay. Hey, Kung, what's up from Vietnam? Hey, Jong-un. <laughs> jong -un's watching from immigration. What in the world? Yeah, well, yeah, my first live vid, everyone. Sterling, this is a shred. I know a lot of people have been asking about this knife, so I wanted to just say it on camera. This is a shred Magic 3. And, uh, yeah, it's a... See that? SCHA3CB. This is the one that is in um, iridescent color. Yeah. Hey, Wayne. Wayne, yeah, you should be revising. But anyway, this live stream will take about, at most, 45 minutes. Half an hour to 45 minutes. So Wayne, just uh, stay tuned, man. It's okay. You can just have me on and then you can study and listen to my, uh, my I don't know, my husky voice, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thanks, Sterling. Thanks, Thomas. Uh, yeah, I, I'm i actually on uh, my Wi-Fi, but just as a backup, I have myself on 4G, um, you know. So I'm just going to give it another one minute before I start up the, uh, or basically before I start the unboxing. And I've got my uh, I got my coffee here, and I've got a little bit of breakfast that I want to eat. So, just give it a minute, and uh, you guys can just keep chatting, man. I'll just reply you because I just want to make sure that everyone's like logged in right now. Well, I got these in. Uh, these are the V one point five origin buttons. Hey, logical. No, unfortunately, the geometrics is mine. <laughs> But nice try. <laughs> oh man, hey Dave, what's up? Uh, I know, I know you. Someone say, someone help me tell Dave I said hi. And that retarded wave was for him. I'm sorry. Hey Badge. Uh, well, you know, Stubby is just such a classic that I probably won't be reviewing it. Like honestly speaking, wait, where is my Stubby? Stubby is somewhere around. I'm supposed to have my Stubby. Hold on, guys. I gotta look for my Stubby. Oh, it's right here. See. I'm looking somewhere else and I didn't even realize that my stubby was right here. I'm an idiot, man. Should you ever get a hyperstone? Well, it depends on what you're really looking for right now. Um I should say that the hyperstone is a the hyperstone is a good spinner. 
but it's lacking in terms of it's lacking in terms of the you know the today's production standards yeah what's up hey what's up everyone hey is the audio okay is it really soft because i think i can hear myself completely fine hey jrb gaming do i like usa i don't own an usa so i i can't really say anything um uh, what's up claws no, I don't think I'll get the fat boy from Steampunk. Uh, it's just not really kind of like my my taste, I suppose. I'm trying to get the wire away from me for now. Out of the frame. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> hey, Dino Craft. If you hate fidget spinners, then why are you here online? Like, why are you here to, to join in my live unboxing? Alaskan, um, maybe not Alaskan. I don't think I'll do a torching video. Do you know, I mean, you can say that uncool, but I mean, look at the response in this video right now and uh, look at the thriving community. So that really is a personal opinion. Like you can like whatever you like and you can think something's uncool. It's totally up to you. You don't, you just don't have to go around telling people it is uncool, you know? Hey, what's up, Joshua? Joshua in the house. <laughs> Look, I'm messing with this. Hey, what's up, AJ? That's AJ, y'all. So, AJ, Joshua. Cool. Hey, fidgeting and fidget spinning. What's up? So, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna talk to Dino for a little bit because uh, Dino's right here saying that spinners aren't cool. Do you know, I, I get that you find spinners aren't cool. And a lot of people actually do as well. You're not the only one. But this is now really a collection, you know, like a real hobby. Uh, you know, so I understand you think it's uncool. But if you really want to join a live video that I'm streaming right now and come in and tell everyone here who is looking forward to unboxing spinners that it is uncool that's a little strange on your part don't you think so i mean i really appreciate all the support that you've given me so far but i think that that's not a very nice thing to do you know what i mean i mean the good thing is you're not coming off as a very rude person but i don't think that's very nice yeah oh well it's okay it's okay hey essence too <laughs> okay i can't i said hi to you aiden i said hi to you you were one of the first few people i said hi to aiden Hey, Ashwin. Hey, Dave can hear it now. Hi, yo, Mr. Ko. Open your box now, please. You think I cannot sing English, man? <laughs> alright, alright. Let me finish up my breakfast, y'all. Hey. What's up, Charles? Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer, thank you. You're putting in some good words for me. I really appreciate it. Mm. Wayne, I will not. If I do that in all Singlish, everyone's gonna just unsubscribe from my channel and never come back to watch my reviews. Okay. Oh, this is basically just a little sandwich that I'm half eating. That is luncheon meat, not spam. Sorry, I think that was kind of disgusting to show you guys. <laughs> hey, Michael. Hey, it's Michael. Okay, uh, if you guys are interested in uh, Singlish, well, we can always talk about Singlish in another video. You guys already know in some of my, blog, uh, my vlog videos, basically, I, I speak in Singlish with my friends because a lot of people around the world find Singlish really, really weird and funny, but I think it's awesome. I just think it's really awesome. Caesar, I think spicy food is not bad. Kaya is nice. <laughs> Sorry, logical. That's my fault, man. Okay, so I'm going to put these spinners aside because the focus is on this big package right here. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, do this for the sake of doing it because I have about 50 viewers right now, which is really cool. Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. That's my real voice by the way. Okay, that's... <laughs> yeah, finally. 
this is my first live stream, everyone. So I apologize if I fumble. Please, please, um, pardon me. Please, uh, bear with me. And we have a package this time from Spinetic Spinners. Yeah, I masked up my own address and my contact information. But we have a huge box. And I had to basically bring my camera up from the usual, uh, I guess, height. Simply because this box, you know, it's pretty tall, as you guys can see. I have no idea what's inside. Besides, I think maybe a Y+, plus and maybe a Byton. And uh, yeah, well, I don't know what else is in there because Joshua said, Hey, I'm sending you that package right now, and... Uh, I think it'll be cool if you do a live unboxing because it'll be fun. So I'm like, okay, let's just see how that goes. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is my uh, knife and this is a safety mechanism in case you guys are ever wondering why I have to actually shift this up and down in my videos is because it's a safety lock. Now, this is a a uh, semi, I guess a spring-assisted, semi-assisted kind of a opening mechanism. So this means that it's locked. So there's no way for you to open it. Even if you flip it up here, no way. And then when you turn off the safety you see that red mark which means that it is cocked <laughs> i don't know primed and ready to go or it is armed then we just flick it out and so i usually do that with my right hand because it's more i guess satisfying that way then i swap it over to my left hand because i'm a left hander so south pause we're gonna rule the world someday all right so uh let's just get this going everyone and what i will do is i will just cut open this then i will lift up that box put it aside because i don't want you guys peeking inside hey malaya i'm so sorry malaya okay okay i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna stop rambling lefty in the house lefty in the house all right so okay that looks to be it you put this aside lefty's rule if you don't have a spinner you, or you are uncool <laughs> all right you know uh yeah hirari kiki hi so this All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Ah. Ah. Hey, Jason. Tyler, yes, I will for sure. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to put this aside now. Hey, hey. It says ben, button bend. Oh, button bend. Okay, I'm going to put it here. Maybe I should do it this way. So you guys can't really see. What should I do? What should I do? Uh, I gotta get all the paper away. I'm just pulling everything. Okay, I think I'll leave it like that. That's pretty good. Button Ben is like Benjamin Button, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, do you know it's 4 in the morning? What? No wonder you're rambling. Okay. Let's go. First of all, I have this. Oh, I've been waiting for this. This is the R180 bearing cleaner from Spinetic Spinners. And yes, you guys, this is a package from Spinetic Spinners. Nothing else except by Spinetic Spinners. And I have my stubby here because I want to do size comparisons. But we have the geometrics at the side, a mini Y, a mini X, and I've got the Legacy V1.5 buttons in stainless steel and have a nice spinetic spinner sticker that I'll put you here. Okay, so this is actually kind of cool. Let's unscrew this. Wowee, I like this. This reminds me of the old uh, skateboard bearing kind of a uh, cleaning tool, which is awesome. No, I didn't break it, Jong. Look, wait, wait, look. You just, it's just a, how do I say this? It's just a, a click fit. Look at that, look at that. It's a click fit. Ah, uh, okay. But anyway, I'll just show you guys later, okay? It's a click fit. It's supposed to do that. Uh, we have spaces here and we have a spring. So this actually holds the bearings down in place, which is really cool. Really, really cool. I like it. I like this touch, Josh. Like, I didn't expect to see a spring on this thing. So that's really cool. A uh, new fidget toy, by the way, guys. Uh, this is also a fidget toy. In case you want to annoy your friends and start, uh, you know, doing this. You can also put your spinners there. And then, or basically your bearings there. And then you can just spin your bearings and then just do this and irritate people. So there we go. <laughs> cleaning, cleaning tool, which is really awesome. I've been looking forward to this for quite some time now. <laughs> Hong Fu, that's right. It actually would work. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to put the cleaning kit aside. Now... Button Ben. Uh, maybe I should keep this for later because it looks like it is hidden. See? So I'll keep this for later. Put this aside. Oh, this one seems to be... Seems to have fallen open already. But stainless steel. Oh, look! It is the Byton Spinner! Oh, wow. Huge buttons. Oh, wow. 
Okay, so my two other buttons are there and a uh, bearing removal tool. Hmm. Let's see what else. Who's saying what? <laughs> okay, bearing removal tool, just leave it here. VCEDC. This is my second product that I'm buying from VCEDC. Uh, the first one was actually just a set of buttons to put onto my Troika Minim. Yeah. These, though, these, these, Rev Punk, Rev Punk, Rev Punk. I love these buttons, man. Look at that. Comparison. Comparison for you. Oh, this has been stonewashed, by the way. This Rev Punk's button has been stonewashed to fit the finish on the stubby. But look at this. Machine finish. Look at that shine, everyone. Yup. Uh, another button over here, also by Rev Punk. And I've got this paper. Got some foam padding. Oh, the foam padding's really nice. Really tall can. Tall case. Much taller than the other usual cases. But look at that. Really cool. Got a spare bearing. With a very nice packaging. Look. <laughs> looks like some kind of a, a candy. Or maybe looks like bakwa in Singapore. <laughs> the Beijing Hyang bakwa, the easy to peel things. I have both the copper and the stainless steel ref punks. They look great in the bite. Oh yeah, I agree. Hong Fu says don't eat it. Just in case you guys are wondering, Hong Fu is the guy that always loves all this um food that I feature in my vlogs or in my videos. Oh, this is nice. Look. This is really, really nice. Look at that machine finish. Wow, it is, it is shiny. Oh, hey, this edge right here, this, this is quite nice. Hey, did you guys ever know that it had this edge right here? Like, it is a sharp edge. Looks really cool, like the side of a sword. Like, what? Long, I purchased the Biden. Jong-un, okay, I'll bring the Biden out today. Oh, just in case you guys are wondering, I'm actually meeting up with Jong-un this evening. Hee <laughs> hee. AJ, yes, you are right. Joshua, a little bit tradish, but uh, no, it's got its own flavor completely. Like, this feels totally different. It feels, wow, it feels nice. It feels nice. And this edge over here, the buttons. Time to spin, guys. Oh, beautiful. Dino, it is just a little past 11 a.m. in the morning here on Saturday. Wow, hey, you know what? It's way heavier than the stubby. Okay, I mean, to be fair, this is in stainless steel and my stubby is in titanium. Yeah, very nice ring. Hey, what's up, Scott? So difference in the sound simply because of the different material. Hey, what's up, Narek? <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm going to tell you all right now. This guy, Narek Ng, right here, he and his brother are the funniest people I've ever met in my life. And I'm actually editing the video that I spent some time uh, in Shenzhen with Narek. And I had my uh, my loophole spinner with me all the time. And Narek was just talking shit the whole time. And it was so funny. Anyway, guys, uh, right off the bat, I will say that the Byton is... A really, really comfortable spinner. I'm surprised. Like, it's got this kind of like three-point edge right here because it's, I don't know, look at this. This is sharp here, but it is curved up. So it's rounded and then it goes into a straight line. And it's it's nice. It's really nice. I like that sound, man. Okay, I'm gonna undo the buttons and let's just have a look. Uh, I'm having some problems with... Okay, there we go. <laughs> he wasn't... He, yeah, as he wasn't talking shit about the loophole. He was just talking shit. So here we go, guys. The bearing retention system. Spendix style retention system. I really like it. Oh, very nice. Very, very flush. Look at that. Beautiful. R188 bearing. And these are the kind of buttons that I like. Look. Dedicated buttons, male and female. Hey, what's up, Subvey? Oh, man. Good morning. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. 5.20 a.m. is no joke. Look, you guys. 
we're gonna put the rev punks buttons oh you know what since you guys have already seen the rev punks buttons on the biton let's just put the v1.5 legacy origin buttons on first and let's see how that looks and i think that it is gonna look awesome look <laughs> i really like it oh nice dip very very nice concave to hold the biter look wow i'm sniffling a little bit guys because the ac is just blowing right at me uh, cynical 33 is no joke man you need sleep right after this Oh, this feels good. Dang it. Okay, I'm going to change the buttons over to the Ref Punks buttons so that you guys can have a look as well. The price point on the buttons is about 50-ish. Hey, Malia. <laughs> I see your drool. <laughs> here, here, have a tissue. Wipe it off. Hey, Malia, come on. Hey, Lee Kung. Right. Rev Punk's buttons. On the Byton. Beautiful. Just in case you guys are wondering, yes, I ordered the Byton. Uh, wait, let me say that again. Just in case you guys are wondering, I ordered the Byton. I paid for it and I also bought the Rev Punk's buttons. No joke. Yep. I like it. I like it. They're both actually feeling pretty good. The Origin buttons have a concave where are they now these are the buttons the origin buttons have a concave but these actually have a nice flat dish so cool oh man i got lucky and i managed to get a biton before it went out of stock nice 44.99 so that's 45 dollars under 50 dollars awesome spinner yeah 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 d master i agree i agree steven oh you want to see the exotic buttons okay okay let me just grab my uh Wait a minute, I gotta get that box, guys. Hold on, I got too much shit here. Wait for me. Oh, you know what? Just wait for me, wait for me. Gonna get this out of the way, get this out of the way. Sorry, guys, I have way too many things. Just hold on. Um, Right. Here, I believe this should be it, I think. Haha. <laughs> Pam 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 pam. Okay, here we go. Got this box dedicated to my uh, higher end button. So here we go. Damascus steel buttons. Oh, Sonda? Sure. In a while. In a while. In a while. Let's focus on the the spinners on hand first. There we go. Damascus steel buttons. The V1.5 Origin Dem Steel buttons on the Byton. How beautiful. Hey Long, they actually sell this pretty close to my house. Um, it's like a five minute walk away and it's a military shop. They have it in three same uh three colors. They have black, tan, and I think orange. And they even have a bigger size one. Check it out. They've got one in this size. There. So two different sizes. Da -da -da. All right, I'm gonna put this aside and put these buttons aside as well. Let's talk about the next spinner in line. <laughs> Wayne, no, I live in Pasiris, man. White Sands has one. Okay, so you guys know what's up. This box, these rectangle boxes signify that they are of the plus style of the classic spinners. I got two, wow. Okay, first of all, I want to let you guys know that I have a gunmetal and matte stainless steel Y+. plus. Okay, Y+. plus. Put this aside first of all. And, uh, okay, I'm going to give you guys a choice. Top or bottom box first. Let me know. Hong Fu says top. Top. Okay, we got three for top. So top. Okay, top. Sorry, AJ. Top. Let's go. We have foam. That's what we have. 
I'm not going to do this. Y plus. Very beautiful Y plus. I ordered another Y plus, guys, in full stainless steel. Hey, where's that one more weight? I don't see an extra... Hey, wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, it's right here. It's hiding from me. So this is a Y plus, everyone. In case you've never seen the packaging for a Y plus, this is what a Y plus packaging looks like. <laughs> Sorry, Wayne, yeah. But you know why? Because everything's down here, but I'm behind the camera. You know what I mean? Like, I'm looking behind the camera. So, yeah, um, I'm actually looking through on my screen, so I can't really see very clearly because, uh, you know, it's a little bit blur. Josh, it's not easy. Don't worry about it, man. It's not easy. So, in case you guys are wondering, a, a plus spinner comes with the frame of a color of your choice, the bearing retention system, which is separate. It comes with a bearing that is separate, and that bearing, uh, I guess the bearing type is your choice. You can choose full stainless steel. You can choose hybrid ceramic. You can choose one with a nylon cage, I think. There are a few options. So, yeah, it's all of this. And then, uh, you also have buttons dedicated for the spinner as well, and you can also choose that uh, button finish. Then you get the weights and the weight finish as well. And uh, you have some extra screws and some little black dots that are not screw caps. <laughs> and then you have a tool that will help you with the weights. So if I'm going to start, oh yeah, there's one more thing that is included with the with the with the plus uh, family. You get this thing called a tolerance number. So this is 2.56. And the reason why there is this tolerance number card is because in the future, when Spinetics actually makes weights for sale separately, you could choose to buy just like one full set for a spinner, or you could buy like maybe maybe a pair, or maybe like two pairs, something like that. It's really for customizing. So then you just customize everything, but you need a close tolerance number because you want the weights to be roughly about the same uh, balance all over your spinner. So you're going to have to quote your tolerance number in order for Spinetics to be able to give you the right weight. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's pretty technical. It's kind of hard for me to explain, but that's basically it. You want to remember your tolerance number so that when you get your weights and put it on the spinner, it wouldn't be too off balance. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you could simply just weigh every single weight separately and then find the best combination for you to put onto your spinner. That works as well. Now, let's go on to the next box since I'm not going to install it right now. If I were to start setting it up, then it will take quite a long time. Box is right here, okay? Here we go. What did Joshua say? If not, we have to record it too? What? Uh, rec oh, he has, a rec he has a record of it. Sure. X, 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 X. This is going to be the X Plus. You guys already know. Hey, Essen, you're going to love this because Essen's a fan of the X. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, hey. Hey, Josh, the weights didn't shift on this one. <laughs> the weights didn't shift on this one. Look. So we've got the tool right there, button, the hardware, and then these uh, bearings. we got the weights all sitting nicely. Hey, Christopher Peña. That's how you're supposed to pronounce your name, right? Peña. Tonos number 2.58, so close yet so far. No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's, let's open this one up, okay? Then we'll start to set this whole thing up. Here we go. Extra buttons. What are these? What are, look at that. I have no idea what these are. Okay, well, well, well. I'm going to assemble it right now, Long. What? Oh shit, snap! Guys, what? My hair standing like a motherfucker, look at that! Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh my god, Mokume weights! Long, it's not brass, bro, it's Mokume. Look closer, guys, it's not brass, it's Mokume! Brass and copper. This is gonna go on my X Plus for sure. What the hell? Joshua, 
Josh has been waiting for this the entire time. I swear, he's he's like online. Oh my god, look at how beautiful that is. What the fuck? Now I gotta just add some spacer so I can put the Origin V1.5 Mokume buttons onto this. Okay, guys, let's do a live assembly with the X Plus using the Mokume buttons, okay? Oh shit. Oh shit, this is exciting. Wait, 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 wait. This is too much for me to handle. I'm just fumbling right now. I'm fumbling right now. I'm fumbling right now. Hey, if you guys have time to stay on, okay? Because I know I've been on for like the last half an hour. Oh shit. Oh shit. Exactly. That's what I was going to do, Joshua. You are awesome. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take... Yeah. No, no, no. No, Dino. That's not how we do things here. We're just going to swear on screen. <laughs> uh, I would say on camera. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm going to get my... Pelican box. Okay. Oh, I gotta look for my... Ah, oh, right here. Okay, the Mokume buttons are here on the iFidget. I'm gonna put this aside. There we go. Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay. Bob, I am crazy excited. Do you know what Mokume ah? I mean, Mokume is. Mokume ah is ah. <laughs> Put this aside now. Okay. I'm gonna have to pull up a chair. Hold on, guys. It's kind of difficult for me to do this standing up. And in case you guys are wondering, yes, I've been standing up for the past one, uh, uh, I guess half an hour that I've been streaming. Oh, you know what? I can't sit down because if I sit down, I cannot read what you guys are saying. Okay, so first of all, this is how you, how you assemble your uh, spinetic plus spinner uh the first thing you need to do is just get it out of the frame which i'm having some problems with look slow but steady here we go hey 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 lint liquor <laughs> blinky <laughs> that's funny man all right so we have the frame this is this is a uh matte stainless steel finish okay long yes Subway, it is about 53 odd. And I have two tools in this one, Josh. Hmm. I didn't really need two tools, but okay, cool. Then you want to get your hardware out. And you know what? I'm just going to flip up this whole foam. Yeah, do it for daddy. It's okay, Josh. Extra tools are welcome all the time. Take out this foam over here and push everything out. This is, this is not how I usually do it. I can't say usually because I've only installed the uh, the Y plus once. But I just want to make sure that nothing drops out. So, all right. Here we go. Push everything out. Now we got all the hardware in there. Get, oh, wait. One more weight right here. Okay. And then I'm going to take out the bearing from this. No, that's okay. Machine finish on the plus. Damn it. If there's going to be a machine finish on the plus, then... Mm, Hey Blinky, come on man. I'm trying to get the unicorn tears. I might get some extra today because I think I might have time to drop by. I don't really know. Alright, so if you guys are wondering, you actually have these uh set screws inside this little this little ziplock bag. Bob Chan, Mokume. Mokume is a Japanese traditional style. It's actually called Mokume Gane. Um Mokume Gane is uh, a method of folding brass and copper. To make it look like wood, like wood grains. It's an it's a traditional um, Japanese metal forging or metal smithing method. So that's why you get such a beautiful finish. I mean, if you look at it, you can see how it looks like wood grains. Yeah, like Damascus brass, exactly. Damascus copper, same thing. Nice and slow, just how I like it, Christopher Pena. You are funny, man. Hey, Christopher, have you received your spinner? Just let me know, man. Because uh, another person that I mailed a button out to for the giveaway, the Copper XL Spinetic Buttons, actually has received it. Right. Okay, so what you're going to do next is you're going to get weights, right? And it has already been messed around or mixed around, so it doesn't really matter anymore. I'm just going to do this for camera. So you're going to get the weight and you notice that there are some grooves here. So the grooves actually go in like that, okay, from the bottom below like that you gotta slide it in from below and then push it up like that 
Alright? And my suggestion is for you to not do all four weights on one side. I want you guys to just push it up here. Oh, not really me. I suggest for you to do one arm by one arm. So two sides, okay? So then you just flip it over and then you're going to slide this up. So once you get that done, you notice that there's a little slot here. Then you're going to grab one of the set screws with the solid side. The solid side here. See the solid side? The other side has a slot. See that? Okay, with the solid side. And you're going to install it like that. Sounds like someone at the door. I'm not going to care. All right. Hmm. Hold on. Hold on, everyone. Hold on. Hey, Joshua, I got a question for you. Why did you give me... Yeah. Why did you give me two Allen keys and then give me a flat hit? Hold on, guys. I got to get... um. I got to get some screwdriver. Hold on. No, it's okay. I got the hex. Uh, no, it's not here. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to spin this so that you guys can have something to look at. Du -du 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 -du. No, man, there's no hex screws in this. So never mind, it's okay. Spin that for you guys to see. There we go. Precision screwdrivers to the rescue. Get this away now. Put this aside. Very nice Byton spinner, by the way. I'm really impressed with the Byton right now. Gonna have to do a proper review on it. Okay, so back to this over here. Put the weights back on from the bottom up. Hey, Blinky, you don't have to, man. All right, so I think the first one should work. Yep, the bigger size precision screwdriver works. So it's really simple. In case you guys are wondering why I'm sounding so strange, it's because I'm actually kind of like tilting my neck so I can see beyond the camera. All right, so what you want to do is as you tighten it, when you're almost all the way in, well, that's what she said, but <laughs> when when it's almost all the way in, you got to make sure that you these weights are flush all the way down, okay? So just push it all the way and hold it. I like to pinch it so that it would not move. Then I'll tighten the screws all the way down. Make sure that it's really nice and tight. Just the way I like it. So yeah, then... Oh, it still has a little bit of play. So that means that I'm not doing it right. Hmm. What's up? It's... It's... It's not tightening. It still has some play in it. Damn it! I'm gonna swap out a weight. Hold on. Nah, Joshua. You know what that means? That basically means I'm supposed to use the Mokume weights. So here we go. Mokume weights time. Put this aside. Grab the Mokume weights because that's what everyone wants to see anyway. So anyway, this is a slice of my life. Welcome to a life fumbling on camera. Woo! -hoo -hoo, look at that! <laughs> uh, man, okay, I'll try another screw then. Let's just try this one instead. See if this works. Flat end. Twist it in a bit. Hey, Wayne, all the best, man. Sorry, I missed your message, Wayne, because I was looking at this screwdriver right here. Oh, perfect. Look, no play. Very good. Oh, this one's not in all the way, not flush. See, that's what I mean, guys. Got to make sure that it's completely flush right there. Yeah, Aston, I saw. I saw your message, man. Just gonna push this all the way in. There we go, perfect. This 
is a good installation of the weights on one side. Now we're going to do the rest of the arms. I'll try and do that really quickly. Okay. And uh, just send me messages on, you know, as, as, as uh, I'm doing this so I can talk to you guys because it's getting kind of, it might get a little bit boring. Hey, Blinky. Take care, man. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. It's, it's cool. Hey, Tyler. Why are you face palming, man? Hong Fu. Huh. Thanks for the vouch of confidence, man. Hey, does anyone here play Pokemon Go? Oh, really? I talk faster live? Huh. Oh, hey, the Star Wars Empire buttons. I missed the run on that. Like, I think that was like a very nice button set, but I missed the run. It is unfortunate because it's only meant for... Press fit R188 spinners. So yeah. Hey, what's going on? Suddenly everyone's talking. Yeah, man. You too. Oh, okay. Just started recently. All right. Equivalent to watching DIY. Keep up. Not boring at all. Da, 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 da. Oh, cynical driver. You got a 98 Lugia. What the hell? You got a 98 Lugia? Damn it. That's not fair. I've got like a 80 plus uh, Lugia. I've got two 80 plus Lugias and two 70 plus uh, Articunos. Oh, that's nice. David, nope. Not that I know of. Bob, yeah, actually I do. I do have a lot of sweet spinners and most of my spinners are actually from the amazing web store known as Spinetic Spinners. Miao Tao. <laughs> it sounds like a Singlish name, bro. Miao Tao. Hey, Miao Tao ah. Miao Tao, kopi tsupoe. <laughs> Long Lu, No. I'm not a gamer. I used to play a lot, but that was like way back. My favorite game of all time back in the past used to be Monster Hunter. That was my shit, man. That was my shit. All right, guys. So basically, I used to teach dance full time. And then um, got my students into Monster Hunter. And we used to just play all the time together. And it was really cool. Like one of the best games of all time. Monster Hunter, man. Monster Hunter YOLO. Do you ever order anything from Spin Space? Aiden, not yet, but I intend to. I think the talisman looks actually kind of interesting. I know it's a very plain design, but it looks a little bit interesting to me, so I will be considering that. Tsukaru. Uh, sorry. Tsukasaru. Tsukasaru. With a Fresh Prince picture on his uh, username, <laughs> which is really cool. Yeah, uh, I, I dance popping, and right now I'm a DJ, so... Always intertwined in the whole dance and music scene. Zenixa, Zen Tri Nano or Spinetic Y, it's hard for you to compare simply because two different sizes altogether. Spinetic Y and Spinetic uh Spinetic Y and the Zen Tri Nano, both very, very different characters. Sibi, um, is the Mokumi meant for aluminum frame just to compensate the weight? No, Sibi, actually, I don't think the weights really differ that much between the different materials. And I'm seem to have some kind of a problem trying to get this particular screw to go into this slot. Hold on, guys, I'm really fumbling here. Hold on. There we go. I think I got it right now. Yeah, exactly. That's what uh, that's what I, I meant, Sibi. So, exactly like what Josh said, it's meant for whatever frame you want. I think the Mokume buttons would look absolutely awesome on a black frame or a gunmetal frame. Damn it. Miao Tao. Miao Tao. Because generally, when you watch anime, you have slice of life anime. So, uh, yeah, slice of life. Here we go, guys. Look at this. Bing, bang, boo. Mokume buttons on a raw stainless steel or I would say matte stainless steel finish X plus frame. Now, what's next? Get the bearings. Put this, hey, hey, Ascension Studios. I know what frame you have. You have a, uh, you have a Gundam red frame. <laughs> Hong Fu. Still is. Because the X plus and Y plus are about the 50s range. That's why. Hey, if you guys have not tried this tool, this tool is really awesome hey jong welcome to singapore man 
all the way from Kuala Lumpur. Took a bus all the way down just to get your ass here so we can talk shit tonight. That's what you're doing. Okay, guys. First, let's talk about the buttons and then I'll share with you guys what Joshua said to me earlier on, okay? So, we have these buttons that are dedicated for the Spinetic X and Y series spinners because the frame or the core here is a little bit thicker than the usual uh, Spinetic style core. So, these also have lips, okay? So, they will just sit in like that. And it'll cover the bearing all the way. But now, since I have the Mokume buttons here on screen, right here, we're going to try and put spacers so that we can fit the Mokume buttons on this, all right? Are the lips as nice as yours? Dude, what are you saying, man? There we go. You disassemble the whole thing, thingamajig, and then you're going to unscrew. I think it's unscrewing here. Joshua, guide me through if I'm screwing this up. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to... Okay, basically, you unscrew here. This uh, bolt at the bottom right here. And then you're going to take out... Should it be one or two spaces, man? Is it one or two spaces? Okay, Joshua says bottom there. Okay, we got it. And uh, just waiting. Two. Okay, cool. Hey, Ben, do you know any Damascus spinner that will work with the Damascus buttons? Um. Yeah, man, I mean... Uh, Damascus spinner... Probably the stubby. Yeah, they're going to be thick. No, it's okay, man. You know how we like it, thick. And uh, to everyone who's saying, did I break the, the, the bottle? No, look. Look, it's got these little clips at the bottom here. So they just go in like that. And now they're back on. So you can basically turn it and pull it out. Wait, let me just see if I can do that again. I'm not doing it right now. Okay, never mind. Anyway, you guys get the gist of it, basically. <laughs> like I said, welcome to a slice of my life where I'm just fumbling and shit. So we're going to put the spacer on around the button like this. Okay. Long Lu, yes. Yes, I have. And we're going to install it like that, okay? So this gives it a little bit of a lip right there. Then we got to get the next spacer. We can just drop it right here if we want to. And then install the buttons right on. Yeah, man. Zenazar thick. Hey, it's not tightening. Hold on. Oh, Jong Un, that's my mom. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Okay, I'm trying this out, but I don't think I'm getting it right. I think it's just too tall. Hey, Joshua, it's a bit too tall. Look. I'll try this instead. Nope, it's on too tight. It's on too tight. Mm -hmm. What if I swap it? Like this. See if this works. Now, you know what, guys? Let me show you the skills that I got. Hold on. Okay. This is, this is what I do when I'm trying to get spinners and buttons to fit. Okay? You get vinyl tubes and then you get a pair of scissors and then you just cut away. So first of all, we're going to make sure the vinyl tubes actually fit. So we've got this one right here and it goes around. Now this is a bit too thin. This one doesn't work. Let me get another vinyl tube. What a ghetto solution. Yeah, man, of course. But if it works, it works. Look at this, guys. Mother perfect fit. Look at that. Look at that perfect fit. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this up. Yes, Joshua. <laughs> if it works, it works, man. So that's one spacer. And I know my cutting skills are shit, but... Just cut something really thin out. Okay, I'm just 
doing that as an estimation or guesstimation or what we call agaration. In Singapore, when you say you want to estimate something, you use the words aga aga. Aga aga, roughly there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use some agaration and we're gonna cut out even thinner spaces based on this. So uh kids don't do this at home. Make sure you have an like adult giving you some supervision because this is actually kind of difficult to do. There we go, we got one spacer right here. Put this on like that. Yeah, everyone's laughing. Aga aga. <laughs> Ascension Studios. That's absolutely right. Joshua here making really high-end metal shit. And Ben here just using vinyl tubes and shit. That's exactly how we roll. Do you do this a lot? I do, man. I do. Uh, in case you guys don't know, I actually modify Nerf Blasters quite a bit. And I really like modifying Nerf Blasters. I mean, I think AJ and Max Hardy and uh, Hong Fu, they know what's up. Okay, I think that should be it. That's another spacer. Now, this one's actually cut pretty bad. I'm going to throw that away. Let's just get this one over here. Okay, let's try this one. Okay. Wish me luck. Got to get a nice straight cut. I think that's good. Here we go. Scissors out of the way. Yeah, I think that should be it. Okay, let's go. Let's go, guys. Moments of truth for me and you and everyone. Okay, looks to be better right now so far. So good. Put this up here as a spacer. I bet you Joshua's laughing right now. He's like, he's like, look at this dude. Psych is the name. That's right. It's my name, Psych. Oh, it's working, guys. Tighten this down. <laughs> okay, a little bit too tight. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this is vinyl, it's actually touching the um, the bearing. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Okay, you know what? Just change one side to a metal spacer. That might work. Let's just see if this is going to work for us. Nope. Nope, the metal spaces are just too tall on this side. I think it's the threading of the um, the legacy buttons, man. I think so. So yeah, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try this again. Where's that nice little spacer that I got? Okay, I'll try and use... Uh, I don't know, where's this one? Okay, just this one. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. I have another solution, though, I think. I think. I think. Got a rubber O-ring right here. I know, guys. I'm super ghetto. Look. What is Psych doing? Would this O-ring work? Or would it hinder performance? <laughs> hmm. It might. It just might. Let's just force fit this in. Nah, 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 it's not working. Who said what? Who said what? Vinyl on the male end, maybe you need something to center it. Yeah, you're right, I might, but it's just, it's just, uh. No, I don't think that's the case, man, because right now, here, here, Doesn't fit that way, man. Because I need something to basically touch the race. And only the race. Matthew, sorry, man. There you go, guys. Not spinning as well, but it works anyway. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, my God. That was an idiotic move that I made. Okay, it works to a certain extent, everyone, but I just wanted to show you guys. Here we go. Mokume buttons. Mokume weights. Yeah, that's right. Joshua's making official spacers. Earthquake. That's right. Hey, you know what? I'm thinking if I get a metal spacer, that might work, right? Because it's way thinner than the vinyl spacer. Hold on. Let me see what I can find. Um, Get my tools. Just give me a minute, guys.
Okay, so here all my hardware and shit. And I've got my tweezers. So let's see if this one works. This might. Yeah, we will make this work. That's right, Omega. We will make it work. Tools. Tools. Ah, that looks like... That looks interesting. That might work. What do you guys think? Let's try that. Nope, it ain't, it ain't working. Hold on. Are you a mechanic? Nope. I just mess with toys, you know what I mean? Zenixa? Maybe, just maybe. We got it working! <laughs> Look at that spin, guys! Bro! We made it work! <laughs> no, Scott! I will die! Hey, Joshua, are you happy? <laughs> hey, this is what's up, man! Hong Fu! All that nerfing skills got used, man! Put to good use! Yay, yay, and then I don't want to drop it. Hold on, guys, gonna just swap hands, get this thing out of the way because it's dangerous. He lives near, no, I live in Paseris. Fuck yeah, that's right. Look at the long spin, guys, it's still spinning. It wasn't even a strong two handed flick. Hello everyone, welcome to A Size of My Life. Those of you who have been here since almost an hour ago, <laughs> you guys actually saw the entire unboxing and entire assembly process of the X Plus. And this is the X Plus and it's a super, super limited edition. This is the first look that we get. And it was a surprise from Joshua from Spinetic Spinners. These are Mokume weights on the X Plus. Yeah, Steven, I think Flamed would be beautiful as well. Oh, man. You really need to get some cheapo full Um, Someone asked if it was noisy. Let me just bring this close to the camera and microphone and so you can hear it. Nope, I'm going to spin this as comparison for you. Look. And then I'm going to spin this, the geometrics. Very silent like a fart. Dude, my farts usually go... Psst. That's what my... Yeah, you know, Dean, you might be right. Look, I've got a gunmetal frame right here. If you compare and contrast, it might... Yeah, it just might... It might look really different. I know that on camera right now, this looks a little bit like brass... But it is Mokume. And uh, yeah. Hmm. I love it. You know, my OCD is telling me, my OCD is telling me basically I need to find the right grain direction so that it's always all in the same direction. Like you look at this one, the grain's going horizontal, and this one, the grain is vertical, and then back to horizontal and horizontal again. So there's one vertical grain. And this one over here, horizontal, horizontal, vertical. Vertical. <laughs> so my OCD is telling me, hey, you're going to get all the same. Try using an oven of salts, toaster oven, that way always stay the same. No, I think, Stephen, I think what Joshua was trying to say is to get the the color of the buttons and the weights the same because these were already flamed before. But yeah, but basically to get an even uh, color, you're going to use an oven. But a conventional oven might not be able to heat it up as high or as hot as what you would need. There we go, guys. This stainless steel and Mokume beauty. Look at this. Now, I want you guys to notice. Uh, basically, I want you guys to know. I want you guys to know that I'm doing this for you. But right after this, I'm going to have to wash my hands thoroughly. Because, you know, the, the patina actually reacts with my skin. You can see my fingers starting to turn pink already. You guys notice? Yeah. See right there. Like, even here is all, like, reddish right now. So, um, yeah. Meldon, why would you want me to say that? No, Bob, there's no wobble. Look.
<laughs> wow, this is amazing. Hey, Joshua. Uh, wow. Uh, thank you so much. I, my hair's standing again, man. Um, Joshua, thank you so much for this. This is a very beautiful surprise. Um, I guess I'm glad that I kept the, 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 sneaky package labeled buttons, for last. Um. Man, I'm I'm really I'm really touched. <laughs> if only you could see my face right now, dude. If only you could see my face. But anyway, yes, everyone, I managed to get the buttons to work with the Spinetic X Plus for now until the actual spaces or the official spaces arrive. But uh, you know, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I guess I'll be gonna end the I'll be ending the video very very soon if you guys want to stick around for a little while just go ahead stick around um, I mean um, that's basically the end of the video I've already addressed everything I wanted to address and we've spoken about everything so just a quick recap what was in the box today was a pair of rev punks buttons I had the button in as well and this is the Byton from VCEDC with the v1.5 Damascus steel buttons by origin and uh, I want you guys to know that the Byton is currently unfortunately sold out but uh, i think there's going to be a restock really soon uh also i have put on display the x and y the mini x and y and i've also got the geometric spinners these were actually all bought by myself and i just put them on screen in case things were going to get boring but i guess not and uh you know what guys i completely forgot about the size comparison see i said i took a stubby out for size comparison and there we go stubby versus Byton. Same size, almost same size. Look, almost. Aiden, do I like X or Y better? Uh, if we're talking about the classic X or Y, then uh, if I had to choose, really had to choose, I might just go for the X, because it's a solid. It's a really solid, solid. Is what I wanted to say. A really solid. Quad spinner, yo. But yeah. VC and Rollerblade had a saucy love child biting and a boom and a biting. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so size comparison between this and this. Here we go. Bob, that is exactly what I want to do. I want to give, uh, I want to conduct a giveaway for the extra Y+. Plus. That is exactly what I wanted to do. Really? I mean, look. Is it here? No, it's not here. It's here. So, we have a Y plus in full stainless steel, and this is the one I want to keep. This. Oh, okay. Saucy. And this is one in gunmetal and stainless steel, and I'll be doing a giveaway for this one. So you guys got to stay tuned for this. This has been on my EDC for a week, and I really love it. I got to tell you guys, man, the Y plus is awesome. Look at it. so rounded. I never even spoke about the frame at all. I'm sorry, guys. Look at this. It's rounded everywhere. Everywhere. Every single edge is rounded. It's rounded all the way. So, huge, huge, huge improvement on the classic series. So, it's beautiful, man. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, um, Michael? Michael wants to see the Ref Punks buttons on the Sonder. Okay, I'll do that because we've already covered what we wanted to. Also, we have the R1A bearing cleaner or bearing tube tool thing from Spinetics and this is awesome. It's spring loaded. <laughs> All right, that looked very wrong, but uh, let me just get my sonder. Wait, where's my sonder? It's right here. Got a sonder. If you guys are wanting to find out about what I think about the sonder, I have a sonder review coming up in the next few hours. So yeah, I'm uh, actually the video is already uploaded. It's been uh, edited, uploaded, and it's just waiting to go. So here we go, Sonder, one of the nicer packaging here. Yeah, Michael, I kid you not. Look, all right. So I'm gonna undo this. Yeah, Bob, the gunmetal looks really slick. Uh, just so you guys know, I want to be fair and just be honest with you. Everything that we unboxed today, I bought except. For the weight. These were a huge surprise by Joshua. These Mokumi weights. Huge surprise. But everything else, I, I paid for it. So uh, I just wanted you to, to know. 
the disclaimer. Okay, we got the ref punks buttons here. Can you show a quick view of Pelican case? Yeah, give me a while, Chuck. Chuck man, Chuck man. Michael, how's the anticipation, Michael? I'm just taking my time now. Buttons install. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at this, Michael. Oh yeah, Michael, uh, my sonder is the bead blasted sonder. So these buttons are in stainless steel finish. Uh, I would say machine finish. So in order for me to get a nice, uh, I guess, finish, I might want to stain wash it. There we go. Hey, Essen, yes, I'm giving away a Y+. I thought I told you that, Essen. I'm giving away a Y+. Rev Punk's buttons on a Sonder Tri. Beautiful spinner. Very heavy. 150 grams. Sonder's really comfortable, by the way. But, yeah. Looks better without the buttons. <laughs> okay, Sonder out of the way. Hold on, guys. I'm going to show you guys my Pelican case since you guys asked for it. There we go. My Pelican case. I'm not going to put it on the table because it's too heavy. Got Spinetic Spinner stickers right here. Got a couple more, I think. Yeah, what is that? Vanguard sticker right here. When is heavy too heavy? Okay, for me, I don't like spinners that are more than 150 grams. Here we go. And we're going to open this up. And here's my collection. Uh, the one drop bearings are here. These are spare one drop bearings that I have in case I ever want to use it. Uh, Bushido trees. Yes, I've had one on order. It's supposed to be arriving maybe in about a week's time. So I got it, uh, you know, when it was uh, on the discount. Alright, so I've got the Sakuras here. I've got the uh, split brain here. There's nothing underneath. This is the Dapper, the amazing Dapper. Then we've got the Spin Star. I've got three Hyperstones because the other one's on my key fob. Um, I've got two bearing removal tools. This is the Hollow Zik. This is the Troika Minim with the VC EDC buttons. These are the only other VC EDC product that I have. Yep, so these buttons on the Troika Minim, which is already tritted out, as you guys can see. Yeah, I have one more. It's on my key fob. So, yeah, I'm a huge fan of the Hyperstone, guys. You guys already know. And then I have the Y that I stonewashed. You like it, guys? It's a stonewashed classic Y. Woo! <laughs> super hype. <laughs> Just really super hype. And then we have a thruster with a, you know, custom made, but I, I, I guess I should say the custom finish. Custom finish by me, hammered, flamed buttons. I've got the night morning designs, two sun spinner. I've also tripped out these four slots over here. I've got the very amazing circulator. You guys already know what's up. I just released the circulator review and I love it. And then, uh, and then I've got Sakuras here. You guys already know I got Sakuras, Mini, and the big Sakura. And I've got all three Origins so far: the black, electroplated Origin. I've got the brass Origin. And uh, just in case you guys are wondering, these two were gifts to me by Josh. So Joshua has been tricking me out, man. He's been hooking a brother up, and I've got the. Stainless steel with the new 1.5 buttons on it. Joshua, I really appreciate you always uh, tricking me out with good stuff, man. Uh, you, you're really killing it in the game right now. and uh, It's just, just amazing. Daniel, uh, not really, Daniel. Uh, I don't think I can do that because I don't know if my camera can actually handle the heat. The stone wash removes hot spots. Yeah, it does to a certain extent. Now, what I found out... Okay, so look at this, right? This is stone washed, okay? Look at this. Uh, yeah, this is machine finish. This is stone wash. Now, stone wash gives it a very okay. Here's a good comparison. Let me just. I know it's a bit hard for me to get these buttons off. That's because. Long Lu, yes, I will. I will stone wash one of my stainless steel hyperstones because I have another one on order. So that'll make, <laughs> that'll make it five in my collection. All right. So this is a great comparison. Uh, I guess subject, I suppose. Here. So these are the Ref Punks buttons in stone wash. With the laser etching. And these are the non stone wash ones. So there you go. You can see a very slight difference in terms of finish, right? So there's a very interesting texture to it. The stone washing gives it a very smooth satin feel. 
And this one actually feels just straight up smooth. That's the main difference. But does it Titanium Origin? Yeah, Matthew, you know what's up. That's right. Actually, that's a slot for my stubby, but I will have a slot for the Titanium Origin and the uh, the Special Edition Origin as well. So, what stone washing does, right? Basically, you guys gotta you gotta sand off a little bit on the uh, hard edges first, then you stone wash it. Now, the thing about spinners is because when you want to stone wash spinners, for example. Now, this is not a good example. Okay, let's use this. When you want to stonewash spinners, for example, you notice that it has really like small little nicks, uh, nooks and crannies, sorry, like nooks and crannies. You want to be able to get those a little bit finished as well. So what you want to do is you want to start with very, very, very fine grains for your stone washing process first. And then once that's done, clean it up and then stone wash it again with bigger grains. So let me just show you guys an example. Okay, I know it's really messy, but hold on. So I've got these two uh, little bottles over here. This one is a very fine grain. It looks almost like, uh, I guess, larger grains of sugar. So I usually put my my objects into this first, and then I will stone wash it for about three hours with this. Then I will take it out and wash it, and then go through another stone washing process with something slightly bigger. And I know it's hard for you to see because it's really messy, but these are actually larger in comparison. Uh, I don't think I can show you guys. There, just look at that. Okay, so it's relatively bigger and it's a bit more, I guess, sharp in terms of the finish of these grains. So these are different grains. And then, oh, it's all from aquarium shops, man. Just go to aquarium shops and buy different sizes. Let me just get you the current one that I'm actually stone washing right now. Hold on. And right now, I am stone washing the... Soul spin. I know you can't really see it because it's all like white. It's got a lot of white stuff, guys. <laughs> but anyway, these are way bigger as you guys can see. They are much bigger in comparison to this. So that's what I do. It's a three-step stone washing process that I take a lot of time. So it's like four hours on this or three hours basically. And then another three or four hours on this. And then finally finish it up with another three or four hours on this. So yeah, white stuff, Tyler. That's right. Let me see if I can get that. Ah, it's all spin for you guys to see. Am I able to do it? No, I can't show you guys, man. Maybe up here. See that? Right there. Salt spin. White stuff. Okay. I think that's about it, guys. I should be ending the video. I've been on for like the past 73 minutes. <sighs> it's been a long time. Daniel, yes. Smaller the stone, finer the finish. You want to start with fine first, then you want to go up and up and up from there. Hey Brian, I'm really sorry. It's been on for the past 73 minutes. So, uh, what I'm going to just recap for everyone one last time before I cut the video is that we had a major, major, major surprise today. First of all, it was an unboxing of the cleaning kit by Spinetics. Then we had the Ref Punks buttons in raw finish. Then we had the Byton. We have, where is that Y plus? Okay, we have a Y plus unboxing. And we have this that I was showing off. It's the gunmetal Y plus. And then we had the X plus unboxing. And then we had a really huge surprise, which was the Mokume weights on the X plus. And that's really the show stealer. Look at that, guys. Wow. And that's about it. So, uh, really... Thank you everyone for joining me. I really appreciate it. This was my first live stream. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if I was rambling too much and my coffee's gone cold now. My my breakfast is gone cold and breakfast is basically now lunch. But uh, it was really worth the entire experience. Uh, sorry that you know I made you guys wait here and there because I was getting tools and stuff. But I think it was pretty fun for me at least. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. My fun as well. Uh, you know, big shout out to all of you, Max Hardy, for being the first to log in as well. We even uh, were graced with the presence of the amazing Joshua from Spinetic Spinners. Thank you so much. And to everyone else, um, thank you. Thank you and I appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for the next slice of my life. Later on today, I'll be uploading the... Vid not really uploading, it's uploaded. Later on, I'll be making public the review of the Sonder Try. And then I will have a little bit more after that. 
just so you know we have things like the quasar 514 we have things like uh, in fact i have a whole bunch of spinners from fec v that i'm actually reviewing i have the tai i i have the um air ring spinner i have the armored diy i also have a couple from Rezo of zl spin i have the spins not spin star i have the twin star spinner i have the dorado spinner i have a whole bunch of different Spinetic Spinner reviews as well. I've got a review for the Mini X and Y. I've got a review for the Geometrics. I've got so many things, guys. So uh, just stay tuned for that. And uh, just one more thing to let you guys know. Tonight, I'll be meeting none other than the Jong-un. Yeah, you guys already know who Jong-un is. Uh, he's the guy that actually designed the Geometric Spinner as well as the, um, the Quasar. 514 so i'm gonna meet him tonight and uh just let me know if you guys want me to do a quick live stream of that like maybe 10 minutes or so because i don't know if it'll be a noisy environment yep uh that's about it thank you everyone uh for for joining me i appreciate all the response so far and it's been a constant like what 50 of you on average watching me so i really appreciate it to all of you super super late at night i really appreciate it Thank you and good night for all of you. Super, super early in the morning because of time zone differences. I really appreciate it as well. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I have one of this as well. The Loti Spinner by Door Dragon. Yeah. Got this on my EDC right now. So, good afternoon, Home Fool. Yeah, good afternoon. Joshua, thank you so much again. I will hit you back up on Facebook because uh, I know you were asking me a question. But, but the answer to your question was no. Don't worry about it. No, it's fine. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks once again, everyone, and I will catch you in the next slice of my life. I'm ending the live stream. It was really fun for me, and uh, maybe next time I'll really consider doing one in pure Singlish. Yeah? All right, everyone. Uh, I'm just overwhelmed right now. Bye!